Ladies and gentlemen, this is an autobiography of one, Nabila Abbas, who is a student of Batch 9th in the Institute of Aviation Studies of University of Management and Technology. She wrote this paper, entirely at her own, and today I am narrating it for you. Briefly, it is a story of a striving lady, who belongs to an area, where it is hard to come forward to join emerging world. You will be knowing shortly, as how she became a passionate of aviation. And now, she is rightly on the way to her destination. Here. Nabila Abbas writes, firstly about her background. No education. No awareness, no technology, no facilities, no advance or modern way of life. No freedom, no ideas to flourish, no sense of living, and so on. As far as I concern to present developed world, still this, no, endows to my area. I assume, perhaps the snow, is okay, with the people of mine area, because where they live, the entire life exists under the mercy of luck for them. In an area where life existence could be much more difficult than weightless they should expect from. This is my area. This is in my blood. I have never been a judgmental or I should say, I've never tried to underestimate mine area's fate. Perhaps, it has raised me up, and I grew up the seeing its toughest trials and got minor opportunity to suffer a few of them, by myself too. My father suffered the hardship of it. He still fights the winds of its brutality, with lowest circumstances of his life. It's another story of his success which has made me able to make my own story too. I'm from an area, where the girls remain in the clutches of restrictions. They are not allowed even to dream, because they are told by birth that, our lives are just to struggle for food, clothes and shelter, and this is it. Not only the men work, but the females, girls, even kids too join them to strive in this battle of uncertainty. And this is the aim of the life for them. They were not so much wrong by choosing such a name, as for a poor existence of life, force them to earn basics of their lives so that they can breathe. But, despite of all dark stages of life, there was a girl, who sparkled her eyes with bigger dreams, who breathed the hope of change, who had fancy thinking of, flying. It was just like a joke to dream for something which is like, alien stuff to even think for the people of a poor tribe. Yes. It's me, who dreamt an impossible of the world, who dreamt. She was born to fly. I could remember, I was so crazy, I wrote my first childhood poem in my diary, which my father once brought for me. And the poem was like this. My first poem of my childhood about flying. She was born to fly. The heights of sky, the love of fly. The shining of stars. The swimming of clouds. Returning my eyes, to the desire of dreaming, the saying of people, that there is lightning of. Shine in my eyes, and. The voice of my heart, that continuously recalls. She was born to fly. She was born to fly. The poem written by me, Nabila Abbas, called as, Bella, at the age of eleven, while in class fifth. Depiction of my dreams and passion. On the screen, it is an artwork by me in fifth class. And this was not just a poem, or lyrics, rather it might be going to be a history changer of my tribe. It was like a frog's desire to get out of its hole, to make the well a beautiful place. But, those little hands of mine, which carved out such a bigger dream into simplest words, was unaware of all blockages in the way of my life's journey. And these were going to be proved as iron wall between me, and my passion. Those little hands were unfamiliar with the battle, which was going to be fought by me, to turn my dream into reality. An area, where girls are supposed to do households, and after that, their last destination is considered to marry them with a stranger. And that's it. Your next level, a future home, and blah blah. An autobiography of a girl, her name is. Nabila, from today. That area, those people were not just a blockage for my dream. 
but I was told something dreary about my birth too, which earned me the title, a girl kid, which was, unwanted. There is a concept of, too much daughters are inconvenience, in my tribe's eye shot. But, I swear, my father as a sole and first educated person of his family, never think like that. He always found his daughters as a great bliss. But, I really don't know that maybe this short story too has to born for me. My journey, from exterior to interior, starts here. It was a challenge for me as well as for my consciousness, that how, and up to how long can I strive my dream, living within such conservative people and environment. I had to sustain my decorum of life. Otherwise, I was too going to be one of the tribe typical girls, who put picture over her head, and maintains its balance joyfully, because it is an ultimate fate of her. But I was a type of girl, who wanted to create her own fate, paving way in the blue sky, among the twinkling stars and above the clouds. I'm thankful to my father who concerned for all his daughters, and open-mindedly to provide opportunities of education to all of us, indiscriminately. He brought all of us to a small city where we all the sisters started our high schooling. It was a first step of mine climbing the ladder to feed my dream with golden rays of hope. I completed my schooling and subsequently the college education, but throughout the period I was stuck to the same thing in my mind, that I want to fly, I want to be a pilot. How this idea came into my mind and became a part of my personality, was a school trip to an airport when I was in fifth class. There I witnessed the charming life of discipline, decorum abiding and active airport staff and pilots, with my stunning eyes. I found myself as well as soul perplexed and worried. I found myself, talking every day with the sky and sharing my fancy ideas with it, when no one was ready to even listen my passion. It was like shooting archery in the dark. No support, no moral convince and no hope giver. Everyone just uttered, do your simple studies as it is a blessing for you, that we are teaching you. Otherwise you are from the area, where the girls even have not seen the school building ever in their lives, so, do not dream bigger. Cut your coat according to your cloth. Such pinching words, anger and restrictions were being imposed upon me. I could remember my words, which I wrote down in my diary after I came back from that airport. My diary was the sole friend of mine at that time. Its quality was that as it could bear my heavy loaded words, when no one else could. Why to fly? My own words when I came back from airport trip. This is a piece of my artwork on my notebook page of fifth class. I want to go higher than Rockefeller Center. Flying got instantly into my soul, but the answer as to why, must be found somewhere back in the mystic maze of my birth, childhood and the circumstances of my earlier life. Whatever I'm, is the blessing and the beginning of it, all have their roots in the dream road. I might have born in hovel, but I am determined to travel, with the wind and stars. I was told, I am a Balorch girl. So I have restrictions upon. There would come a day. There would come a day when my thoughts would meet imaginations. There would come a day, when my imaginations would meet dreams. There would come a day, when my dreams would break all the blockades. And, the day is no more far, when all these would come true. A poem written by me. When, Everyone in my family was discouraging me as whole about my dreams, I was carving these melodious and aspiring words. I did not care about people. Opinions and restrictions, I was told, that I'm a Baluch girl, so I have to limit my wishes and thoughts, but my thoughts were not in the cage of anyone's mind. I was a free, determined and passionate girl, and yet I decided to move ahead to search my own way. I made research about aviation. In those days, access to internet was quite difficult for me as we were not having any television or internet-like facility at our home. I kept on going through making interactions with people who were knowing even little about aviation. 
I spent less on studies, but much on finding initial way to get on the path. It was like, as a blind man who was finding a black cat, in a dark room. My family asked me to do pre-medical, but, I was addicted with the taste of my own dreams, and that was obviously, the aviation. I did my pre-medical, but forcefully. I was ready to do anything in terms of commitment and assurance on part of my parents that, okay, we will reconsider your aim, but yet do pre-medical. What we are saying? Do you know? Even, I was in such a severe circumstance, that no one was concerning about my aim or dream. They just blurt out, oh Bella, you cannot fly, just get rid of this fuss, and do what we Baluch girls should. We cannot send you to the far-flung places for such a fancy dream. I kept weeping for many nights, I screamed for months, and I strived nearly seven years to just make my parents understand to make the society assured. Later, I came to know that flying is too much expensive, and it was unaffordable for me. For my sole learner father. I did not lose heart, I rather, engaged myself with BS in aviation management from the University of Management and Technology Lahore. Lahore is far away from my tribe, that is Dira Ghazi Khan. So, coming here was also a big problem, but my consistence, self-confidence and passion compelled me to shift here. Though, lot of financial family support and cultural problems raised being away from my hometown, but I fought for my dreams, bravely. I made my parents assured that I will make myself a pride for all of them one day. Inshallah. I'm having a lot of plans ahead. However, before discussing them, I would like to share my writings and artwork relating to aviation, first in the next section. These things are my assets, though these seem minor, but at that time, creation by the little hands were playing the strings of a melodious and fancy dreams, which was a cause for me to live, for the first time in forever. Here is my poem. For the first time in forever. I have ever seen. The flying birds in the sky. The throbbing sound of their feathers. Which makes my heart to fly. For the first time in forever, I have ever realized the flying birds in the sky, which give the sound of freedom. For the first time in forever, I have ever understood the flying birds in the sky, which keep me alive. For the first time in forever, I have felt the flying birds in the sky, which leads the path of my destination. For the first time in forever, I have ever recalled the flying birds in the sky. Let open your wings of heart and see the clouds of imaginations. I could remember, I wrote this short poem when everyone discouraged me, when everyone in my family could not believe in the dreams in my eyes. I could remember in this hopeless condition, I ever used to talk with the sky and I carved out these words. You wonder, why? Here is my another poem on the screen. You look up in the sky. And start making different sights. In a moment you blink. The sights may shrink. You look up in the sky. And start listening to the heart of its voice. In a moment you blink. The voice may shrink. You look up in the sky. And wonder at why. As the clear is sky. You can see my childhood creation here. There are some other creations and stuff. My friends dedicated to me. My further plans and goals. If your dreams are bigger, and beginning is low. Congratulation, life is going to offer you something bigger. I too have a low beginning, but I want to create higher, bigger and broad vision goals ahead. I want to study, first of all, aviation as a bachelor degree. I want to learn its vast knowledge and skills. Practical work is my priority here. My platform is to lead on the path of my instructors with honesty, dignity and hardworking. I am consistent girl, who can spend her 24 hours for aviation, 
because I want to bring innovation and promotion to aviation in Pakistan, as a bachelor degree holder. I am not going to bother to open the history of aviation here, that how and when it evolved in Pakistan, but my main focus is on bachelor degree in aviation. It is the first time, being introduced in Pakistan and yet majority is not aware of it. I want to spread awareness about it. Especially, I want girls of Pakistan to join this degree and get themselves educated in a better field of glamorous and huge opportunity fated. At this level of my education, I am trying to make interaction with international bodies, so that I may get bigger chances to learn practical work from these institutions like Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, United States of America, which is one of my dreamland missions. I am having wide planning to prepare a IATC test, so that I can make myself able to serve as an air traffic controller, because I find this position bold, responsible and strengthful for the youth who are looking forward for career in aviation. I seek myself being working for the betterment of Pakistan International Airlines of my country, which is nowadays going downward. I seek myself to be one of the representatives of International Civil Aviation Organization from my country, because I believe, if I would work hard, I am going to give a lot to this field and can earn fruit of it. I'm very much interested in air crash investigation too. This all would be able to be done by hard work, self-confident and consistence. And, I will pay every moment of devotion to it. I am ready to learn the vast and endless field of aviation with passion, craze and sense of being, in giving you receive. I am going to live my way. Inshallah.